Dover Share One High School for tonight's matchup between the Foxborough Warriors and the Dover Share One Raiders for the Sweet 16 Lacrosse Tournament. Starting lineups for the Foxborough Warriors. Number two, Adam Medecci. Number five, Don John Sachetti. Number seven, Jaden Jean. Number nine, James Gaffney. Number 14, Marco Cialfi. Number 15, Jack Taft. Number 22, Captain Lincoln Moore. Number 24, Captain Ryan Cotter. Number 25, Braden McKay. Number 26, Captain Jack Sullivan. The Warriors are coached by Greg Keith. And now for your Dover Sherborne Raiders. Number three, Grant Sullivan. Number four, John Gramer. Number six, Captain Dylan Rogers. Number eight, Simon Hart. Number 11, Captain Wyatt Pastore. Number 12, Ronan Richards. Number 13, Henry Fowler. Number 15, William O'Neill. Number 21, Bo Newmarker. And number 27, Archibald Abstos. And now we ask all that are able, please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Hello everybody and welcome to this June 5th, 2024 Lagra lacrosse playoff game against your Dover Sherburne Raiders and the Foxborough team. That I, I don't, Actually, the Warriors. They are the Warriors. I'm Brad Crandall alongside Elsa Suxo, Cam Crandall on Instagram, DS Cable TV. Follow us or we'll follow you back. So, it's a hot one here today. 82 degrees, sunny. Feels like it's like 90 out. It's sweltering. So, we will see how this game plays out. The Foxborough Warriors are going to be in their navy blue with gold helmets. Starting off right to left. Raiders in that jersey that you probably recognize. The white jersey with the black helmets and blue numbers. So, we'll see here how this one plays out. As everyone's, 
the starters are on the field talking to each other, getting the pregame speech from the refs here. Archie Abstoss is going to be taking the net here for the Raiders, along with number two, Adam Adechi, is going to be taking the net for Foxborough. All right, we're getting ready to take this draw. Simon Hart's taking the draw for the Raiders. And good face-off win there from number 25, McKay. Great defense, though, from the Raiders. Battling for possession here in the Raiders' zone. And McKay fighting for it. Oh, finally picked up from a Warrior. And now number 22 with it, Lincoln Moore passing it up to one of the players. 24, Cotter. Cotter quickly shovels it off. Warriors working the ball around right now behind the Raider net. Raiders sticking their guard though. Oh, good defense there by Simon Hart sticking with him. And good step up hit there by John Grammer. Some still dangerous territory though. Warriors gonna work it around. It's a good opportunity. Oh, excellent defense from Grammy. Keeping them out. Now they're working it behind the net. It's gonna be John Sachetti with the ball now, passing it up to Lincoln Moore. Lincoln Moore trying to get in. Good defense though from the Raiders, stopping him. Quick pass to number 10. Up. Oh, Great defense from Dylan Rogers poking that thing out, but Foxborough ends up getting a shot off and gets the first goal in. Nice goal there by number 22, Lincoln Moore, starting the scoring off. Foxborough all jazzed up after that one. And a pretty impressive, impressive fan zone over there. Filling up almost an entire bleacher. All right, once again, Raiders going to try to get back in this one. So plenty of time, 10.30 on the clock in the first quarter. And, oh, he's going to jump the gun there. It's going to be Warrior Ball taken by number eight, Ian Foley. Far side there. He's going to roll it over to his teammate, Tony Sullum. Tony now. Going in. So I'm going to pass it off in the near side. Sacchetti has it. Well guarded though by Newmarker. Going to keep working the ball around. Foxborough looking like a pretty good team here. Raiders like to play chess though early in the games and let their team uh, kind of play some defense at first from what I've seen. And they get into the zone, so. Oh, what an opportunity for Foxborough and it just goes over the stick of number 10, Sullivan Keneally, and it's gonna be Raider ball. Roger's gonna let Absis take it. Absis right by the soccer net. Gonna bring it up. Oh no, and it new marker misreads it probably because of that hot hot sun shining in his eyes. That's what I think it is. Looking at the shadow. But here we go, Foxborough. It's gonna have it again. Oh and look at that. Sun is definitely tough out there, you can tell. These kids don't usually drop those. And Newmarker playing defense right now. And oh, look at that. Almost getting that one by, but it bounced and had some backspin on it. Foxborough still working the ball up. Newmarker gets physical though back there. Foxborough still gets it, and that's going to be a no, no flag. 
Raiders got lucky on that one. And I would be willing to guess that number 10, Sullivan Keneally, might have said something. So that's why it's Raider ball. Now, oh, coming the other way. Almost a Raider, but good defense, though, from Foxborough. Capitalizing on the mistakes and getting it out of their zone. The speedy Lincoln Moore now. Richards on him, though, and Moore. It's a nice shot up. Great save by Archie Abstis. Archie looking for a target. Quick pass a new marker. In the sun, pulls it down that time. Long stretch pass, intercepted by Keneally. Keneally, pretty quick, running down that far side. Keneally almost loses a tire on that one, but regains his balance and passes it up to Moore. Moore now goes to Sulhim. Sulhim passes to Cotter. Cotter. Back up and back to him. Keneally with it. Far side's going to decide to go behind the goal line and behind the net. John Sacchetti being covered by Newmarker right now. Great defense by Newmarker. He had to pass it up. Oh, look at this. Foxborough, great pass there. And Moore shoots it super high and wide. But what a pass. But Foxborough still has it. Foxborough putting on the pressure here. Pretty heavily. Sell him now. A oh, little back flip, but miscommunication. Moore didn't, didn't see it coming. And it's going to be Raider ball. Raiders weathering another storm here. 7-16 left to go in this first quarter. Rogers with it now. He's going to go back to... His goalie, Absis. Absis is now going to pass it to Newmarker. And that is tough for Raiders. It is an offsides. And there's going to be a timeout after that one. McLaughlin is clearly upset with his team after that one. As you can see, McLaughlin is having some words now. Zoom in on him. Yeah. Yeah, you can see him right there. Only down by one, though. Still plenty of time here. 7.07 left to go in this first quarter. Like I said, though, it does seem like the Raiders like to get punched in the mouth a couple times before they start fighting back. And I totally expect them to do just that after going down by one. Refs checking some sticks there. Seem to pass all the tests. You know, I've never seen one fail, I don't think, since I've been here. This Foxborough Warrior team coached by Greg Keefe. He's the head coach, assisted by Jack Bogan. All right, more with it now for the Navy Blue team. Speaking about Navy, congratulations to Dylan Rogers. He's going to be joining the Navy. And look at that, one of the Foxborough kids took a tumble, but didn't affect the play, and that was a nice bouncing goal by number 24, Ryan Cotter. Yeah, just a nice hard shot right into the, right probably foot or two in front of Abstis and had a tough bounce. 2 nothing right now. 6.51 now left in the first. Can the Raiders get back on that horse? Get back in the battle here. All right, here's a draw. And they got Wyatt on wing there. Wyatt scoops it up. Absorbs a little bit of 
a hip check, but able to just play it right off. Now you got Fowler, a little swim move there in the far corner, running it behind the net now. Fowler, a little spin. Good coverage on him by number seven, Jaden Jean. He passes it up to Neat. Neat, quick pass to Sullivan. Sullivan runs it back for a sec, passes the Wyatt Pastore. Pastore, oh, kind of gets taken out, but still has it. And, oh, just missing the pass was Fowler. Oh, that was tough for the Raiders here. And now Moore with it, number 22. A little spin move there. He's running it down. Great defense, though, from Richards, who was sticking with him, not giving him much. Foxborough going to set up again. Under six minutes to go now in this first quarter. Up by two. Foxborough trying to add to that lead. They're working the ball around. It's going to be Sacchetti. Oh, overpasses his tended target. And Wyatt gets hit. And it's going to be Raider ball. Yeah, he gets knocked over the line. That's actually a good play by Wyatt there. Now Max Needs going to quickly pass it to Sullivan, but it, it's a tough pass to reel in. Oh, tough stuff there, but Raiders getting it back. Raiders got to just keep their head on here right now and do what they've been doing. They're a great team, and you know it, and I know it. It's Max Neat now, far side, trying to get a good shooting position. Quick pass up to Sullivan. Sullivan trying to find a chink in this warrior armor right now. Scannell goes behind the net, up to Fowler. Fowler to Pastore. Pastore, spin move. Shot opportunity, oh, just missing the net. Great opportunity, though. You won't score if you don't shoot. And right there, it's a good attempt. All right, Atwood now trying to bring it around. Great defense, though, from number eight, Foley. Now they're working the ball up. Fowler, oh, Goes behind the net to Scandal. Scandal now up to, oh, Scandal to Sullivan. And the Raiders strike. Excellent pass. Excellent, excellent pass by Scandal there. What a goal by Sullivan. So now it is two to one. Raiders feeling the offense now. You got to feel for it. Let the gates open. Good face off draw as two Warriors run into each other. O'Neill passes the new marker. New marker. Big pass up to Pastore. Pastore lost it in the sun, I think. And Warriors going to play it back to their goalie. Goalie with a great breakout pass to Cotter. Cotter now on that far side, passes the middle plane, runs by Hart. Cotter with some speed, and great save by Archie Abstis. Saw it the whole way. Abstis now, quick pass out to Rogers. Rogers on that far side. Going to go back to Archie. Archie to Richards. Just under four to go. Richards, oh, the pass to Newmarker goes over his stick. Atwood, though, plays the body in. Somehow gets a reverse hit now. Nice hit. Oh, and look at this. Raiders kind of just a little off here. Still some time to get, it, to get settled in. Warriors now with it. Moore has the ball on the 30 now. Moore is going to turn around and pass it to his one of his cronies, number 11, who passes it to Solheim. Solheim now back to Moore. Moore goes parallel to the net to Sacchetti. Sacchetti back to Moore. Moore is going to center it up, though. Warriors working the ball around pretty well. Neat covering Solheim right now. Solheim trying to beat Neat. And gets decked by Atwood. Nice check. Atwood with a couple hits now. Rogers goes uh, over the goalie's head. But no, that was very dangerous by Newmarker. 
Rogers now with an excellent breakout pass to Hart, and Hart over passes his intended target, who was neat. Raiders just got to get back to their fundamentals. They're just a little bit rattled in this really close game right now. Still plenty of time. And luckily, their mistakes, they haven't paid for really. So that's good. Get it together now. Okay, Adechi passes it off to Gaffney. Gaffney now, good breakout pass. Oh. But good defense from Neat, hassling him. And now Sullivan takes a whack, and somehow Carter still has the ball. Now Carter on that far side, 35, 30-yard line, covered by O'Neal. He's going to center it to the center to McCabe. McCabe quickly passes to Waller, number 11. Waller, good pass to Moore. Moore's a big boy in the middle there. And... Moore does have the first goal. All right. Warriors working the ball around. Now behind the net. New marker covering him. Oh, good play and good defense from O'Neal. Absis now. That's tough. That's tough. I, it's tough when you break out pass. They're looking right in the sun. Archie with good patience and collectively took the ball up and great pass to Sullivan. Sullivan back to Fowler. Fowler, a little spin there. Great defense by Gene. Wyatt, oh, hits the post. Tries to tie this one up, but it goes all the way back and Scandal scoops it up. Raiders looking better than they did when they started here. They have the last goal and now they're getting some opportunities. All right, Sullivan now with it. Sullivan, a great pass. Oh, but it just goes through the stick of Olsen. Great opportunity though, and good look by Sullivan. All right, Adechi passes it off to his defender, number 26, he's pretty quick, Sullivan. Sullivan, Sullivan, the long pole, passes off to Keneally. Keneally up to Waller. Waller passes to Moore. Moore tries to go in. Oh, just misses on that shot. Absis looked to see it the whole way, though. The ball's in the corner. It's going to be picked up by a Foxborough Warrior. Just 11.3 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Are they going to get a shot off? I don't know. And let's say... Good save by Archie, and that should be the end of the quarter as he just saved that shot by Tony Sullum. So, at the end of one, it's just a one-point game. This is what the future of local TV could be if we don't act now. Local access television is the connection to your local community, but its future is in danger. Without legislative action on how it's funded, local TV will inevitably fade away. If we don't act now, an invaluable source of local programming will become extinct. We stand to lose one of the only sources of free speech media, one which is equitable and accessible to all. Local TV keeps you connected, informed, and entertained. Our neighbors are the faces of local TV. You are the voices of the community, so let's continue to be heard. We need you to act now. Save our stations. Call your state representative and state senator and urge them to support House Bill H-74 and Senate Bill S-34. For more information, visit FATV.org slash SOS. All right, we're back as both teams take the field. 12 minutes on the clock. Did get a couple degrees cooler. It's 79 now. Still sunny, though. Simon Hart going to be taking the draw again for the Raiders. Simon. 
Braden McKay taking the draw for Warriors and winning it. Passing it to John Cicchetti. John Cicchetti goes back to Foley. Grammar in for Pastore right now. Who is currently playing midfield. McLaughlin mixing it up. Needs that athletic ability, but... He's back in now for Neat. Warriors still working the ball around. Up top, Tony Selham trying to get in. Selham, great defense from Rodgers and Richards, though. But, oh, good pass by Moore. And well, the Warriors couldn't hit the net on that one. Lucky for the Raiders. Keneally's shot was just wide. All right. Fantastic breakout pass there. And now the Raiders are on the offense. This Pastore passed to Fowler to Atwood. Scannell coming in. Neat coming in. Neat now has it on the 35-yard line. Passing it up to Sullivan. Sullivan, the Raiders' lone goal scorer, passes again to Pastore. And... The girls lacrosse team is back from their game, and unfortunately, they did not win. But they seem to be in good spirits. All right, Sullivan now past to Fowler, but it gets away from Fowler. I think it was a well-timed poke check by number seven, Jaden Jean, making a miss. Now the Warriors are in that far, far corner. Picking it up, passing it. To the goalie, Adechi now with it. Adechi, ooh, dangerous as Sullivan was there. Ooh, Sullivan, nice little shove there. Yeah, but Foley able to dodge a few Raiders. Foley, a little juke. And Foley gets hit at a up. Oh, oh well timed out. A well timed timeout for Greg Keefe in the Warrior team. So. 9.52 left to go in the second quarter. One to two is your score. We'll be back really soon. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 230,000 participants here in Massachusetts who take part in high school sports. Diesel on three chant as they take the field. That'll be the Raiders defense as you should know if you've been watching. If you're new, yeah, that's what they call themselves. All right, this should also be the last of the cross game with this type of view. So we're getting a new press box. Hopefully it's better. Better view, I'm sure it will be better inside. And that pass was wild. It's gonna be Raider ball. Simon Hart grabbing it on that outer side. He's gonna be playing it in on the 35. Oh, and uh, just got some more news in. The uh, the baseball team lost 2-1, to one, so that's unfortunate. And all the pressure is here on this lacrosse field. Oh, and the tennis team. All right, uh, you got Pastore, a little swim move there behind the net. He's going for a wraparound, but good defense. He made him reconsider. Neat passing to Fowler. Fowler, good juke. Passes to Pastore. Pastore, fake shot. Pastore coming in. An outstanding save, though, by Adechi. Adechi quickly dishes it off to Gaffney. Gaffney, quick pass to Moore. It bounces off Moore's helmet. And Ronan Richards now running it the other way. Richards. Looking for a target, running it all the way. Getting, getting pestered though by Gaffney. 
Passes it to Sullivan. Sullivan with it now. Sullivan, oh, a little fake juke. Pass to Atwood, Atwood in a good spot, but great stick from number 14, Marco Kialfi. And this is coming the other way, and very quickly. And good save by Archie Abstis. As I think he got a piece of that one as Tony Sullivan was on the breakaway. Oh, but unable to get that one as Sullivan Keneally gets on the board once again. I mean, that's his first goal, but he gets on the board at least. And Foxborough's on the board three times, opposed to the Raiders one. Still plenty of time though, folks, and very back and forth game. All right, let's see here. Oh, good face off win from the Warriors. Ian Foley with it, getting pestered by O'Neill. Foley still has it on that far side 20, turns it around. He's gonna roll it to his teammate, Aiden Waller. Waller decides to actually pass it. After all, to Ryan Cotter. Ryan Cotter now on the 40. 35. They're kinda just, they can relax a little bit. They have the lead in a tight game. 7.27 to go in this first half. Oh, good good defense from Grammer. Sticking with him. Playing hard. Moore is going to shoot it, and great save by Abstis. Nice hard shot from a tough angle. Abstis easily snagging that one, tracking it down. Richards now kind of bribes the defender, and Grammer gets smoked. Some might say that's... Could be a suicide pass there. But it's going to be Raider ball taken by Pastore with a fancy little scoop up. Pastore in on the 35. The 30 goes parallel to the net to Fowler. Fowler is going to go cross field to Atwood. Atwood up to Neat. Neat missed a clutch over here. Passing it out to Sullivan. Sullivan's little spin move. Sullivan. In cover, but broke some ankles there for a second. Now neat up, neat passes to Pastori. Pastori to Fowler. Fowler got around Gene. Quick pass back to Pastori. Pastori. Gets a shot off, hits off the goalie's shoulder, and it's going to be Raider ball. Bobby Olsen back there picking it up. Olsen fake. Fake pass, still has it. Olsen bringing it all the way up. Nice pass to Sullivan and good defense on Sullivan. As Jack, another Sullivan, number 26, Jack Sullivan knocked it loose. Wonder if they're related. Okay, Adechi has it. Passing it to number nine, Gaffney. Gaffney with it still. Gaffney takes a few steps, passing it up. And this is going to be Keneally with it. He has this. He has their last goal. Keneally covered by Hart. Decides that can't go through Hart too easily, so he's going to go back, and they're going to try to set it up again from the outside. Oh, good speed here from number five. and Just goes in and knew he was going to get punished and did it anyway. John Cicchetti, that is. A couple of good hits from the Raiders. Warriors still have the ball. Trying to center it up. Great defense, though. Cicchetti. Trying to get in on Olsen. Sachetti, good quick pass. Moore now, and it looked like it deflected off, I think, a Raider. Moore does a nice little selly as he dusts his cleats. And that will be his second of the game. 
So now it is four to one, Raiders. Need to come back in this one. I need to come back quick, because this is a tough Foxborough team. So, McKay's taking the jug in, and oh, and they're gonna say he won it, even though it was in Hart's stick. All right, Warriors, trying to add to this lead now. Raiders not playing bad, I would say, anymore. Started off missing some passes, passing right in the sun, but that's tough for anybody. They were never bad, let's just say that. You just know how good they can be. More now, oh, great defense makes his shot go way over the net. So under five now, 442 left to go in this half. Raiders down by three. Warriors trying to get by Rodgers, not easy. Great defense from Rodgers. And congratulations to Rodgers once again. He won a bunch of awards um, in the senior award. And the guy's a monster, he's huge. Good transition though from defense to offense and Raiders setting up now. Max neat with it on the 30 yard line. Now the 35, Max Neat. Gonna try to go in. Neat, couple of jukes there. Go around. Okay. Go back all the way up to Fowler. Fowler trying to get by Gene. Gene's been playing great defense today. Goes back to Scannell. He's made an awesome assist for the Raiders already. To Sullivan, to Pastore. Pastore, a little spin move. Pastore, absolute rocket snipe. Like we're so used to seeing him do. And that was a huge goal there for the Raiders. Only down by two now. Pastore needs to have himself a big game. He's oftentimes one of the most skilled players on the field. All right, O'Neal getting subbed out for number 16, Benjamin Krellin, who's going to be taking the draw right now. Krellin was on IR earlier in the season. Happy to have him back. It's a big body out there, very athletic. Good kid, too. Battling out there. Let's see. And, oh, trying to scoop it up. And finally does is number 14, Marco Chiolfi. Marco, a nice pass, but ended up finally getting in the stick of Taft, who has it behind the net. Taft passes all the way to that far side up to Moore. Moore now has an option coming in. Number 10, Keneally. Keneally, back to Moore. He's gonna go back behind the goal line. And, and here he goes, a good opportunity and excellent last minute stick check by Olayer who redirected that shot. That was a very dangerous place for open look and Olayer taking that away. Moore missing the net on that one. So 248 left to go in this half, two to four. It's a good old fashioned good game. There's nothing old fashioned about it really, but anyway. <laughs> Warriors working the ball around. Oh, what a good pass and Olayer once again just getting in the face of his opposition and making a miss. Good aggressive defense by him. All right, Warriors working the ball. Oh, a little spin move. Couldn't couldn't trick Grammar though. Grammar is playing excellent defense. 
And Solheim's going to go all the way around. Wrap it around. Solheim gets taken out by Richards. They're going to say it's a push, and it's going to be a Foxborough ball. They're going to give it to Moore. Moore with a real tough angle. Nothing really has a scoring opportunity, but decides to pass. Try to set up a scoring opportunity. Sacchetti guarded. Sacchetti gets a shot off. Great save from Abstis. Under two minutes now left to go in this half. Still down by two, the Raiders, as Ronan Richards has it on that far side. Pass up over a layer, but good pass to Pastore on the one bounce catch. Pastore's running all the way up. All the way, and he's going to give it to Scannell. Welcome to the game. Here's the ball. Scannell immediately checks in and gets the ball. Scannell having a good game, too. So good pass to Fowler to Scannell. Scannell. Scannell getting pushed out. Pass to the knee. Shout out to Scannell, too, winning a good senior award. Solid. He won the Owen Bingham Award. Congratulations. Fowler, RIP Owen. And Scannell picking it up. Scannell up to Pastore, who looks at the clock. Sees we have less than a minute to go, 42 seconds on the clock. Pastore's going to get hop on the horse. Going in and pass, Story. Wyatt with another big goal there. Brings it just to under one goal. So now it's three to four. Thanks to pass, Story. The last two goals. When that when that guy is cooking, it's hard to stop him. Okay, who's taking the draw here? Down for a second. It is Hart and McKay again. McKay winning it. And Foxborough taking a timeout. Trying to recollect themselves as the Raiders have been burying. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Just 31 seconds to go in the half. And see if one of the teams can get a goal before the half ends. I understand you work just as hard as I do. I understand you want this as badly as I do. I understand only one of us can win. But if we don't show good sportsmanship, we both lose. This name. This logo. It represents something much bigger than me. It's a privilege. An honor. A responsibility. I understand that. So whether we win. Or we win. I pledge to do my best as a competitor and a person. All right, blue team working the ball around now. 25 seconds. They're gonna center it up, but they go just working the ball around. I think they're gonna wait for that last shot if they can. Keneally with a good pass and great defense. Oh, but he couldn't scoop it up. They get it back. A centering pass and Keneally missing the net on that one. It is still Warrior Ball though with 3.1 seconds left to go in this half. Rogers covering him now. That ball's up and it such a hard pass. It bounced right off of number five, John Sacchetti's stick before he could shoot it. So at the end of one half, folks, three to four is your score. Raiders down by just one. Stay tuned and let's see how this thing ends. I'm Senator Red Markey, and I want to talk to you today about something that's really important to communities all across Massachusetts, and that's cable access television stations, public, educational, and government channels, also known as PEG, give viewers critical information about what's going on in their communities, and they offer an important platform for every local resident to have their voice heard. 
from Falmouth to Framingham, from Pittsfield to Provincetown, local access television serves as our 21st century town squares where the issues of the day are discussed and people's voices can be heard. With 220 PEG organizations in Massachusetts alone producing anywhere from 20 to 100 hours per week of programming for each one of those stations, these channels connect us to our communities and they enrich our lives. These channels monitor local city council meetings. They receive the latest news from nearby college campuses. They relay critical emergency alerts. And throughout this ongoing pandemic, local access channels are using their reach into our living rooms to help keep us safe and connected. From sharing updates and information on COVID-19 in each individual community, to streaming virtual graduation ceremonies and concerts, we owe our PEG stations a tremendous debt of gratitude for the public service they provide during this difficult time. But despite their service, these critical community television stations are at risk. In 2019, the Federal Communications Commission, the FCC, proposed a new rule that would change the regulations and it will allow cable companies to shirk their obligations to the communities where they operate, every single community in Massachusetts. Because you see, currently, local governments are allowed to require cable companies to meet demonstrated community needs by providing contributions that benefit schools, public safety buildings, and community television stations. Yet the FCC's proposal would allow cable companies to assign a value to public access channels and then subtract that amount and the value the company places on any other in-kind contributions it makes from the normal fees that that company owes. In short, the community stations are left carrying an unfair burden, an unjust burden, at a time when local newspapers and other sources of local information are struggling. Now is the time when we should be exploring ways to expand, not subtract, from ways that residents can learn about their communities. This access to information is worth protecting. And that's why I am reintroducing the Protecting Community Television Act legislation that would ensure that community television channels receive the resources they need to educate, to inform local residents. My bill will ensure that in this era of increased media consolidation and globalization, that the public, educational, and government channels that lift up local voices and air programming most relevant to you and your family's lives are preserved. The movement across Massachusetts and the country is growing and echoing this call. And together, we're saying loud and clear that community television must be preserved. So thank you for your support. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you to what the PEG channels do for every community every single day. We have to fight uh, to protect it. It's at the heart of democracy. It's at the heart of ensuring that every voice has a way in the community to be heard. So I'm with you. Let's win this battle. Thank you for everything that you're doing. Hi, and welcome back to some second half action. Raiders only down by one, three to four, 12 to go in this quarter. And then 12 to go in the fourth quarter. And we will see if we have a winner. Let's see. What happens as Simon Hart taking the draw against McKay? Oh, good battle up front, and ball's loose. We're going to get it. Hart picks it up finally. After a real tough battle. Oh, but it's going to be Foxborough ball. Sometimes it's hard to tell what happened. Anyways, here we go. This is going to be Cotter passing it back to Solheim. Solheim passing to Keneally, Keneally to Moore. Moore goes back to 
Cicchetti who repeats the circle. A little back and forth there. Cicchetti gets it again behind the goal line. Cicchetti more up. Blue working the ball around. Probably trying to kill a little clock, but see how that goes for him. Great defense by Rogers, making him run just horizontally. Blue still trying to work the ball and find something. Raiders looking good on defense right now. Good positioning by Richards right on that one. New marker now, and Moore gets in and misses the net. It's been quite a few missed miss nets for both teams. And it's going to be Sacchetti bringing it up, passing it up top. Oh, good defense from O'Neal. Kind of blocked that top pass. Now Rogers covering... Oh, dodged a few checks, but Newmarker able to lay a hit. Great hit, and now Hart going to try to work it out. Good speed and good round of applause there by the Lady Raiders lacrosse team who are here cheering on the squad. Okay, Atwood passes it to Neat, under 10 to go. Number 10 passes it to Atwood, gets it to, they're just working it all around. Neat now, Neat still, oh, Neat pushed out last second by number 24, Cotter. Good defensive play. Now Pastore trying to work it in, Pastore, oh, what a save. Outstanding shot and outstanding save by Adechi. And look at that, good back check by the Raiders who just ran up on that guy. Adechi trying to go the other right, route. Rogers, oh, to poke check, took out the player. I think Sullivan. It's going to be Foxborough ball. Look at that. It's going to be Cotter with it, defended by O'Neill. Cotter's going to go back behind the goal line in Let's see what happens here. Folks, this is pretty exciting lacrosse. Glad you're watching. Thank our viewers. Moore now bringing it on down. Moore, what a save by Avstas. Archie with no fear. Oh, and now an Archie chant takes place in the stands here. Grammar now passes back to Fowler. Fowler to Pastore. Oh, the fans are loud now, folks. You can probably hear them. All right, Atwood up top now. Atwood passes to Neat. Neat back to him. Neat. Neat looks like he's going to try to go in. Neat, little juke move, little juke back. Neat switching hands. Excellent defense, though, from number four and their goalie. Number four is Flaherty. Their goalie, of course, is Adechi. Adechi passes after being pressured by Sullivan. Gaffney with it now, looking for something. Goes back to Adechi. Adechi back to Gaffney. Gaffney all the way up. Oh, good breakout play there from Vaughn. Now Keneally with it. Keneally far side is going to go back to his players behind Abstis. That pass doesn't go as planned, but actually I changed my mind. Yeah, it did, as it ends up in his stick. Sacchetti has it. Covered by Neat. Sacchetti. Oh, that hits off Krellin. Excellent shot block by Ben. And Archie gets another chant. Oh, no, that was a... Good defense by Foxborough, taking it away from Richards, and this is an opportunity. New marker, big hit. And oh, and there was a loose ball in front, and Foxborough putting it home for the first goal of this half. Scored by number 15, 
Jack Taft. Good stuff from the Raiders and nice big hit from Newmarker. Love to see it. But I don't know. Foxborough just sticking with it and happened to find that loose scrap in front of the net. Good goal for Blue. Back to the faceoff circle. Raiders down by two now. Three to five. McKay winning that draw. McKay now far side, running it down. O'Neill's going to make him pass it back to their number eight, Ian Foley. Ian Foley with it. Keneally right in the middle, though. I thought he might have got the pass, but Foley still has it, and they're going to give it off to Sulham on the 40-yard line. Close. He's looking like he's going to make a run here. Little fake pass. Oh, look at this. Newmarker playing outstanding defense. Kicking it to himself. Oh, and it might have just been offside. But Newmarker, what has gone into him? He's playing excellent. Moore now, covered by Richards. Moore, a little spin move. Moore is just so powerful. And look at that. Moore to Keneally. Good goal there for the Warriors. It's tough when you have such a powerful person right in front like that. It's hard to push him back. And Lincoln Moore is just that. He bodies people on his way to the net. Pushing close to the net. And just turns around, makes an awesome pass to his teammate Sullivan Keneally. And Keneally gets his second of the game. All right, this ball is going to be rewarded to the Raiders. I think they're going to give it to Neat to play with. Nope, Neat gives it to Atwood. Neat wants to be in a, a sniping position. He's past Story now with it on that far side 35-yard line. Back to Atwood. Atwood to Neat. Neat now on the 30. Neat steps back to be on the 30 even more. Up to Atwood to Pastore. Pastore having himself a game. Fowler to Scannell. 534 left to go in this quarter. Scannell looking for an option. Finds Pastore. Pastore to Sullivan. Sullivan to Neat. Neat. Trying to go in. Neat with an awesome shot. Neat with a sweet little selly there too. Max Neat doing what the Raiders Needed him to do in that position, and that was get a nice clutch goal. Now the score is four to six. Raiders down, but certainly not out. Max Neat just consistently rises to the occasion. And good face-off win, too, by McKay. He's been an absolute dot destroyer. And that shot goes way out. It's going to be picked up on the sideline. A new ball is going to be picked up by Moore. Moore now walking it in. Moore's pass. A little bouncer to Solheim. Solheim back to Moore. Moore, oh. And they stop more on this. Oh, good save by Abstis. Moore trying to go that, go in and just fire in near side. Abstis all over it. Not sure if it was going to go in the net or not, but Abstis making a good save regardless. Oh, little good spin move. New marker sticking with him though. Raiders. Try to play some lockdown diesel here. Lockdown defense. Diesel squad. Oh, look at this. Raiders, though. Trying to get back. Little spin move. Oh, more. Jeez. Top cheese. More. Taking it into his own stick this time. And more finishes off his hat trick. Oh, no, actually, I lied about it. Yeah, no, he did. 
I love it. Yeah, he did. That is his third goal of the game. Now the score is seven to four. That one takes a little bit of wind out of the sails, but Raiders can still do it. This next goal will be very important as Pastore has it far side, back to Fowler. Fowler covered by Gene. Fowler jukes him out though, but look at that, Gene. Strong stick, keeping him to the outside. Neat up to Atwood. Neat and Pastore switch sides, so let's see. Neat looks like he's gonna go in. Neat turns back, back to Atwood. To Pastore. Pastore, spin move, Pastore! What a save by Adechi. An absolute nice shot by Wyatt. That one couldn't have felt good saving. Physically, but I mean, it probably felt good emotionally saving. Oh, Pastore getting a piece of it and caused a turnover. Newmarker with it. Hell, his stick gets smacked. And a Newmarker laying down a hit, but it was a little bit of a hit from behind as the Foxborough player turned last minute it appeared and they're going to get the ball right here Tony Sulham passes it off to Keneally Keneally goes behind Abstis with that one they're working the ball now in close side Cotter with it now. He's going to pass it back to Sacchetti. Sacchetti back to Cotter. Cotter up to Moore. Moore covered by Richards. Richards doing a good job covering Moore. They're going to try to double team him. Moore's pass just gets away from Sullivan Keneally. And it's going to be Raider ball. Good job for the Raiders weathering that little storm. Each Defensive turnover is just so important at this point if you're a Raider specifically. 2.13 left to go in this third quarter, 4-7. to seven. Once again is the score. Fowler now passing up to Atwood. Atwood is going to walk back casually. Atwood looking who he's got out there. Passes it to... His teammate, Neat. He's going to give it back to Atwood. Atwood to Scannell. Scannell goes back to Wyatt Pastore to Fowler. Fowler trying to get by Gene. Gene's been ridiculous. And he does! Fowler with an absolutely huge goal there. And Raiders 5. Warriors 7, 135 left to go in the third quarter now. Fowler, just he's been so impressive all year. He's only a sophomore too. And he was able to get by Jaden Jean. And get a goal. And by a Dechian. Alright, Raiders once again. Faulting on the faceoffs. And Warriors coach is saying clock. They want him to be aware of it. As it's a minute 22 left to go in the quarter. So they're probably going to try to hold out for the last shot. Because we'll see. So Raiders down by two. Still anyone's game. Let's see, we need a big turnover. For Diesel here. Moore with it now. Moore using that uh, engine. Just excellent defense from the Raiders, not letting them in. It was Richards specifically. Let's see. You got 
Ian Foley against Simon Hart, both wearing number eight. Foley passes it off, though, to sell him. Sell him now with 27 seconds left to go in this quarter. He's going to go behind the net. Rogers just missing on that one as he tried to intercept it. So trying to get around Krellen. Solid. Oh. Pass it up. Good stuff from Simon Hart all over him. And yeah, that was a decent shot attempt at the end. Missing the net on that bounce. And that's the end of the third quarter. We're going into the fourth with the score of Raiders 5. Foxborough Warriors 7. To me, sportsmanship is probably one of the biggest aspects of sports in general because it really does prepare you for life after sports. It teaches you so many life lessons and just being a good teammate uh, in sports, it'll prepare you for life because you'll always be in teams, you'll always be working in businesses, you'll always be working with other people. No, it's no fun to be the one person that takes everything too seriously and doesn't show goodwill to others, so being a good sport makes you more likable and it's just a good trait to have, not just in high school, but for the rest of your life. Sportsmanship means to me respecting um, the opposing team um, after a win or a loss um, to help ensure that everyone has a positive experience in the end. The MIA event that I went to was NESLC and it really had me think a lot more about sportsmanship. A lot of the guest speakers that we had, they really put into me the idea that you need to respect your opponent and also respect who they are as another team. Look at it as improving on my own skills so I can win that game for my team. Being a good sport will always be important and just you learn great life lessons from sports and they'll always impact you later in life. We got 12 minutes on the board here, folks. Can the Raiders come back in this one? Can they win it in regulation? Or will Foxborough win it in regulation? Or will this game go into overtime? Your guess is as good as mine. Taking the draw right now, though, these two familiar faces, Hart and McKay. McKay's been so strong on that draw. Got to give the kids some credit. A little lob pass there to Cotter. Cotter now running it down. Sees O'Neill and decides to not try to go through. Sticks to the outside. Now passes to Sulham. Sulham to Keneally. Keneally is going to go back behind the goal line. Oh, little bouncing pass catch. Look, Rogers closed in on him quick. But it's still going to be Warrior Ball. Taken by number 15, Jack Taft over there as the ref tells him where to go. And the whistle is blown. Now it's playing. Good defense from Simon Hart here on Keneally. Keneally. Zippy though, right? Ends up passing it off to Cotter. Cotter defended by O'Neill. Quick pass though to Solom. Solom. Trying to get by Wheatsman. Wheatsman playing some good defense. Someone with just a one-handed pass there. It's actually pretty nice. Salam passes it to Keneally. Keneally now looking for an option. Raiders just playing great position defense here. And more trying to come in. More. Oh my goodness. That kid is an absolute maniac. More gets on the board again. So now it's eight to five. Warriors are up. Will the Raiders answer?
you got to wonder, too, I mean, unless you know, of course, why our big guy Rogers isn't on their big guy more. And look at that. McKay wins the draw and just takes it all the way down and gets a goal. That is impressive stuff there. We've seen Simon Hart do that a few times, but McKay has just been on fire in the faceoffs today. Five to nine now. Raiders finding themselves in an uphill battle. Those are always impressive, those face-off win goals. And Blue winning another one. This time, Ian Foley trying to one-hand run it. That was interesting. That was Solom with it. Solom up by the 35-yard line to the 30. They're just killing clock at this point. They can. Um, Ryan Cotter now. Oh, he's going to go in. Ryan Cotter. And oh my goodness. Foxborough's bench just all riled up. As they should be. Seem to be taking this game away. Here in the fourth. Ryan Cotter. Getting her second of the day. Timeout coach Mack. Foxborough acting like they already won here. Just found some energy late here and just are capitalizing what seems to be on everything. So, Raiders down by five now. The score is 10 to five. Warriors are up. Um, five goals in lacrosse. All depends. It's not impossible. You can get five goals pretty quick if you're, if you're rolling. As you see there, Foxborough is rolling a bit. Let's see if the Raiders can get it back, though. You just need a little momentum change. And they're not out. All right. 9.38 left to go in this fourth quarter. Let's see it here, folks. McKay winning a... Oh, good... Late stick check there. It's going to be white ball, maybe. Oh, my goodness. Who's going to get this thing? Oh, it is white ball. As Pastore scoops it up out of the pile. Pastore has it around the 10-yard line. Let's see. It looks like he knows he has to work quick. Pastore looking for an option. Trying to go around and good save by Adechi. He's made a few of those on Pastore. But good play by Fowler, keeping it alive to Pastore, to Atwood, to Scannell, to Neat. Neat trying to get in now. A few jukes. He can shoot from back there. But Adechi has been playing really good. Atwood trying to come in. Atwood, and oh, what a save by Adechi on Wyatt once again. Fowler, though, scoops it up quickly. Fowler's playing it in. Fowler trying to get by Gene. Fowler to Neat. Neat up to Atwood. Atwood's pass. A little tricky, but Scandal makes it look easy. Pass door to Fowler. 8.22 now left to go in this game. Down by five. Let's see. Fowler trying to shake Jaden Gene again. Neat up to Atwood. 
Out with the Scannell. Scannell trying to work his way in. Great defense, though, from number four, Ryan Flaherty. He's keeping him out. Let's see past Story trying to get in. To Scannell. Scannell fake shot. Scannell. Oh, my goodness. Adechi with a good shoulder save on that one. It's like he jumped up and knew it was going to catch him in the shoulder. Quality save by him. So now under eight minutes to go. It's going to be Warrior Ball. Adechi. Stealing this game a bit. Oh, he's quick, too. Look at him. Dechi is a senior. And now you got Ian Foley with it. He thought about bringing it in, but he's got some time to kill. Both teams are... Fast and strong. Warriors working the ball around. Look at this. Krellin coming out. Trying to pressure him a bit. Making him work. Carter running and passing it. And he gets it back. Carter. Keneally. Keneally all the way back down to Sacchetti. Sacchetti up. Keneally passes to Carter. Cutter goes all the way back. Caught by Moore. Under seven minutes to go. Still down by five. Time dwindling away. They're just going to have to try to just pressure them and take it away. And cut down their possessions. Because if they can't do that, this is going to be a wrap, folks. Let's see, Moore, oh, hits the post. Tries a tough angle wraparound. Good bid, though. Warriors still got it. 6-12 on the clock now. It's going to be taken in by Foley. Foley covered by Rogers right now. Rogers gives him a little bump. Foley, oh, good defense. And... Oh, look at that. Good speed from number five. Sacchetti tracks that ball down. Passes it to Cotter. Cotter up by the 30. Cotter trying to go in. There was some space in the middle, but Scannell quickly closed in. Same with Rogers. Oh, look at this. More. And more. How are you going to stop this kid? Uh, Lincoln Moore just kind of setting this thing in stone here. So he gets his one, two, three, four, fifth goal. 5.33 left to go now. 5 to 11. No one's been able to knock him down. Oh, good hit by Pastore, but they're going to say it's a push. And now McKay. Oh, Pastore running it all. Speeding to the sideline. Still got some energy in the tank. Now Foley with it. Foley trying to get around O'Neal. Quick pass up. And oh, Sechetti gets absolutely decked by Newmarker. And he's injured on the field. Oh, they're calling the trainer over. Oh, he's up. All right. I mean, he's sitting up at the very least. Cam the trainer coming over there to take a look at him. Let's hope he's all right, because uh, John Cicchetti, he's a junior, and he's a really good player on this team.
It's Chetty walking off by himself. These lacrosse players are a tough breed. Arguably some of the toughest out there. All right, well, Ryan Cotter now. Nope, who has the ball? I think it might be more in the far corner. Yeah, it is. It's the one right next to the ref. Lincoln Moore with it. Pass it behind the net. So I'm up, and what a rocket goal. Number 15, Jack Taft getting one now. Good passing, too. Um, more to sell him. Finds Taft. That's uh, basically a wrap, folks. I hate to... I hate to even say that, but let's hope I'm wrong. 5.07 left to go, 5 to 12. And this time it's gonna be Raider ball. Simon Hart now with it. Simon Hart still with some in the tank, quick. Oh, what a save by a Adechi. I thought for sure Simon Hart was gonna bury on that one. Great, great hustle by him. Excellent chance, and Adechi's just been absolutely stellar. Uh, there's a great opportunity, and he just comes in really uncontested. That was Ryan Cotter. Great save by Abstis. Okay, Rogers now. That near corner with it. Well, he dropped it, but he's going to scoop it back up. Rogers passes to Abstas, who passes it to Hart. Let's see if Hart can run it all the way down again. He's pretty good at that. I mean, the kid's got, he's got some wheels, and he's got some skills. So he passes it past Story. Past Story absorbs a stick check there, running it. And passes it to Neat. Running it up past the Neat. Neat now in the center on the 40 yard line. Time dwindling though. Neat now with a little fake move there. Give you the Raiders. You just gotta try to score immediately. But easier said than done. Fowler now up to pass Story. White working the ball around like they have some time here. Fowler now. Oh, good stick check, though, from James Gaffney, number nine, taking it away. And now you've got a speedy number 26, Jack Sullivan, bringing it all the way. And a good timeout by Greg Keefe. Foxborough. Must be feeling good right now. Raiders, not so much. So we got 328 left on the clock. It's the fourth quarter. Raiders have five. Foxborough Warriors have 12. This is a timeout right now. And, I mean, we'll, we'll see. I want to say I really want to thank all the viewers for watching all season long. And, uh, you know, we do it for you. That's why we're streaming live. And, yeah, we appreciate you. Hopefully you appreciate us, too. All right, so after that timeout, 
The ball will be taken by number 24, Ryan Cotter. He's got it right there by the ref. We're on the 42-yard line. Ryan Cotter casually walking in. It actually was more of like a little jog, but quick pass to Keneally. Keneally back. Cotter to Keneally. Back. She's playing keep away right now. All even now. It's good to see Sachetti back in the game after taking that big hit. Cotter, oh, Cotter gets hit. Or, I think Cotter feel, falls down awkwardly, actually. I think Cotter might have got hit or whatever by Olayer. But he's up. Now, Solom with it, that far side, covered by Grammer. Grammer, take an exception, and Grammer's going to get a flag for this. A little aggressive. Clear frustration here from some of the Raiders. 2.29 left to go in the fourth quarter now. Down by seven. Okay, so far side, Tony Solom has the ball right around the 30-yard line. Solom up to Cotter. Cotter passing it to Sacchetti. Back to Cotter. Good pressure, though. Rogers never give up attitude. Gotta love to see it. So, Warriors just working the ball around. Moore had it. Passed it to Keneally. Keneally back up. A little pressure from the Raiders. Making them work. Making them work for these final minutes. And now they're going to work the ball around the net. Taff with it now. Passes to Keneally. Keneally up to Sol. I mean, yeah. They're all just working the ball up. Let's see if they get another shot here. Solemn. Oh, Solemn's pass sneaks right by Sacchetti. It's going to be Raider ball with a one, two, three left on the time clock. Oh, good, good pass by Rogers. Finding Bobby Olsen. Olsen now to. Team here. Just working the ball around. Pass story with it now. One minute, folks. One minute. Pass story. Shot gets saved by a Dechi. A Dechi. Oh, man. A Dechi really had Wyatt's number. Towards the end of this game. Wyatt's still got a couple goals on him, but Dechi making some great saves. Has Sacchetti with it. Far side on the 20. Sacchetti has 30 seconds to kill here. Chetty's going to center it up to Foley. Foley steps back to Cotter. Raiders still not giving up. Good stick check by Rogers. Rogers playing to the final whistle. Look at that. Rogers. Oh, two seconds left to go. Foxborough was ready to celebrate, but hold on two seconds. And that is the game, folks. And that is our season two. 
The boys and girls lacrosse teams along with the baseball team got eliminated today. Tough day for a Raider fan. Um, so, anyways, this was a pretty good Foxborough team. And I think they have a good shot at winning it all. So, good win by them. Beating us 12-5. to um, Thank you all once again for this season. It's been fun. This is Brad Crandall. I hope I see you guys around. Uh, Elsa Sukso on camera. And my brother Cameron Crandall on Instagram. DS Cable TV. Follow us. We'll follow you back. It's a great way to communicate with us.